Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of polynomials, we are going to take up questions related to division of polynomials by a binomial using factor method. So this is the question. Using factor method, divide the following polynomials by a binomial. So these are the eight questions we are going to study in this video. We are going to divide each polynomial by a binomial using factor method. So let's get started. Now the first question is to divide x square plus 3x plus 2 by x plus 1. Since we have to use factor method, let's first write it in fraction form, keeping the dividend in the numerator and divisor in the denominator. Now we shall factorize the numerator that is x square plus 3x plus 2 using identity 5. Now identity 5 is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. Now we have to think of two numbers that is a and b such that their, that their sum is 3 and their product is 2. We know that 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 into 1 is 2. So we can say that a is 2 over here and b is 1. Now we shall substitute these values in the identity and write in the numerator x square plus 2 plus 1 in bracket into x plus 2 into 1 upon x plus 1. Now further the two factors are x plus 2 into x plus 1 upon x plus 1. Now x plus 1 and x plus 1 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled and we are left with the answer that is x plus 2. Now let us take up question number 2. It is given divide x square minus 7x minus 18 by x minus 9. So first of all we shall write in fraction form that is keeping the dividend in the numerator and divisor in the denominator. We shall write x square minus 7x minus 18 upon x minus 9. Now further we shall solve and factorize the numerator that is x square minus 7x minus 18 using identity 5 that is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. Now we have to think of two numbers such that their sum is minus 7 and their product is minus 18. So we know that minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7 and minus 9 into 2 is minus 18. So we can say that a is minus 9 and b is 2. Now we shall substitute these values in the identity and we shall write in the numerator as x square plus in bracket minus 9 plus 2 into x plus minus 9 into 2 upon x minus 9. Now further we will get two factors x minus 9 into x plus 2 upon x minus 9. Now further x minus 9 and x minus 9 will stand cancel and we are left with the answer that is x plus 2. Now we will come to third part. It is given divide p square plus 6p plus 8 by p plus 2. So again we shall write in fraction form that is p square plus 6p plus 8 divided by p plus 2. Now we shall factorize the numerator that is p square plus 6p plus 8 using identity 5. Again we have to think of two numbers that is a and b such that their sum is 6 and their product is 8. We know that 4 plus 2 is 6 and 4 into 2 is 8. So we can say that a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2. We shall substitute these values in the identity and we shall write in the numerator p square plus 4 plus 2 into p plus 4 into 2. Further we shall write their factors as p plus 2 into p plus 4 upon p plus 2. Now p plus 2 and p plus 2 will get stand cancel and we'll get the answer p plus 4. Now let's take up question number 4. It is given divide p square minus p minus 42 by p plus 6. So again we shall write in fraction form that is p square minus p minus 42 upon p plus 6. Now we shall factorize the numerator that is p square minus p minus 42 using identity 5. Again we have to think of two numbers such that their sum is minus 1 and their product is minus 42. And we know that minus 7 plus 6 we can get minus 1 and minus 7 into 6 we will get minus 42. 
So over here a is equal to minus 7 and b is equal to 6. Now we shall substitute these values in the identity and we shall write in the numerator p square plus in bracket minus 7 plus 6 into p plus minus 7 into 6 and upon p plus 6. Now we shall get two factors as p minus 7 into p plus 6 upon p plus 6. Now p plus 6 and p plus 6 will get cancelled and we'll get the answer p minus 7. Now we shall move to fifth part. It is given y square plus 12y plus 35 to be divided by y plus 7. So first of all we shall write in fraction form that is y square plus 12y plus 35 upon y plus 7. Now we shall factorize the numerator that is y square plus 12y plus 35 using identity 5. Now we have to think of two numbers such that their sum is 12 and their product is 35. We can say that 7 plus 5 is 12 and 7 into 5 is 35. So over here a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 5 and in place of x we shall write y. Now we shall substitute these values in the identity and we shall write in the numerator y square plus 7 plus 5 into y plus 7 into 5 upon y plus 7. Now we shall uh, get two factors y plus 7 into y plus 5 upon y plus 7. Now y plus 7 and y plus 7 will stand cancel and we will left with the answer y plus 5. Now let's take up sixth part. It is given divide z square minus 10z plus 16 by z minus 2. Now over here again we shall write in fraction form that is z square minus 10z plus 16 upon z minus 2. Now we shall factorize the numerator using identity 5. We have to think of two numbers such that their sum is minus 10 and their product is 16. And we know that minus 8 plus minus 2 we shall get minus 10 and minus 8 into minus 2 is plus 16. So we can say over here that a is equal to minus 8, b is equal to minus 2 and in place of x we shall substitute it by z. So we shall substitute all these values in the identity and we shall write in the numerator z square plus in bracket minus 8 plus in bracket minus 2 into z plus minus 8 into minus 2 and we shall get two factors as z minus 8 into z minus 2 upon z minus 2. Now further z minus 2 and z minus 2 will get cancelled and we are left with the answer z minus 8. Now let's move to question number 7. The question is divide x raised to power 4 plus 3x square minus 10 by x square plus 5. Now we shall write in fraction form that is x raised to power 4 plus 3x square minus 10 upon x square plus 5. Now we have to factorize the numerator that is x raised to power 4 plus 3x square minus 10. But if you observe the power of x over here is 4 so we cannot apply the algebraic identity directly. We have to first convert it into quadratic expression. So let's put x square is equal to y in the numerator as well as denominator. Further x raised to power 4 we can write as x square whole raised to power 2 and further we shall replace x square by y and we shall get y square. So accordingly we shall write y square plus 3y minus 10 upon y plus 5. Now we shall solve the numerator uh, using identity 5 that is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Now we have to think of two numbers such that their sum is 3 and the product is minus 10. And we know that 5 minus 2 is 3 and 5 into minus 2 is minus 10. So we shall write y square plus 5 plus in bracket minus 2 into y plus 5 into minus 2 upon y plus 5. Because over here a was 5 and b was minus 2. Now further we shall get two factors y plus 5 into y minus 2 upon y plus 5. Now y plus 5 in the numerator and y plus 5 in the denominator will stand cancel and we are left with y minus 2. Now we can again replace y with x square and we will get the answer x square minus 2. Now let us take up the 8th part. 
it is given divide x square minus 7 x plus 12 by x minus 4. Now we shall write in fraction form that is x square minus 7 x plus 12 upon x minus 4. Now we shall factorize the numerator using identity 5. We have to think of two numbers such that their sum is minus 7 and their product is 12. So we can say that minus 4 and minus 3 will get minus 7 and minus 4 into minus 3 is plus 12. So we can say that a over here is minus 4 and b over here is minus 3. We shall substitute it in the identity and we shall write in the numerator x square plus in bracket minus 4 plus minus 3 into x plus minus 4 into minus 3 upon x minus 4. Now further we shall get two factors x minus 4 and x minus 3 and we shall write x minus 4 into x minus 3 upon x minus 4. Now x minus 4 and x minus 4 will stand cancel and we are left with the answer x minus 3. So hope you have understood these types of questions that is division of polynomials by binomial using factor method. Thank you everyone.